Hi, everybody. Um, this week we're learning about Leonardo Dica DiCaprio. <laughs> Does anybody know who that is? I hope you do. Um, we're actually learning about Leonardo da Vinci. I was going to make a joke about DiCaprio, but I actually said it, which is kind of funny. Um, there's so many interesting things about him. He's uh, an incredible human being um, who passed away over 500 years ago. And in case you don't know, oh, sorry, I have a little bit of notes on my old paper here. In case you don't know about him, um, he lit, was born in 19, or 19, 14. I'm a little off today. <laughs> Maybe it's my crazy hair. Hmm. Uh, 1452 in Tuscany, uh, he didn't have a father. So he was called an illegitimate child. He was raised by a single mom. And around 14, he wasn't uh, doing well in school, but it was obvious that he was super talented and creative. So she um, sent him to work as an apprentice under an artist in Florence in uh, Italy. Um, he was ambidextrous, which meant he could use both hands. Uh, he was a lyre player, which uh, maybe later we'll be able to play a little bit of the music. It kind of sounds like a harp. Um, he wrote backwards instead of writing right to left, he wrote left to right. And that was to hide his um, amazing ideas. Sorry, I'm looking at my hair and it's just so crazy. Zoom's so funny. Um, so uh, he wrote it backwards because he invented things like uh, the helicopter. This is 1450, okay? And like before 1500s, um, he invented the helicopter. He invented a scuba helmet. He invented, um, he really wanted to fly. Um, he was obsessed with um, humans flying. He developed these huge wings that um, he thought that maybe people could eventually fly. Um, and uh, he loved birds so much that he would actually go to the farmer's markets and purchase them and set them free and watch them fly away. So, excuse me. Um, I always kind of got him confused with Michelangelo. I'm kind of embarrassed to say when I was younger. Um, they're both one of the top artists in um, in history. But I would say Leonardo is more important because he actually was a scientist, a mathematician, um, a philosopher, an artist, all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know as much about Michelangelo as I know about Da Vinci, but I do know that they actually lived around the same time and they were um, arch rivals, okay? And so uh, Michelangelo was the one who painted the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. And he, uh, I forget how many years he sat on his back painting the ceiling. It's pretty awesome when you get to see it. So today I thought we could um, draw um, a condor, he was um, obsessed with condors, um, Da Vinci. And um, what is kind of neat is I, I didn't know that we had them here in Temecula Marietta area. And you actually, when you look up and you see those birds flying and you think they're hawks, often they're actually condors. When you see the white wings, uh, my friend pointed it out to me. So they're flying, we've got turkey vultures, all, all above us. So um, did I say condor? I think I said condor. Woo, I need a nap. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get busy and we're gonna start doing um, our drawing. And so bear with me while I play with technology that I love so much, but it is getting better, isn't it? Yay. Stop my video so I don't make funny faces. And here we are. Hopefully this will work with our second camera. Share the screen, let's go. All right, yay. So here, all we're needing today is uh, a paper and pencil and something to color with. Um, I'm really just focusing on shading today. Um, we're gonna draw the vulture itself and then we're also going to um, draw the wings like uh, Leonardo da Vinci, not DiCaprio did as well. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in oh, a little bit more so you can see better. Let's see, hopefully it'll start getting in focus. 
All right, and I think I'm actually going to turn my page and do it on this direction because it'll give me more room for my my wings. All right, so all we're doing is we're first starting with drawing his head like over here a little bit more. So we're just going to draw a um, circle for his head, a little circle about the size of a dime. And then we're gonna um, add a little hook beak to the front. Can you do that? And then we're also going to draw a line for his mouth. And then what I want you to do is carefully just erase the circle part that showed where we started. And um, what we can do is draw an eye right back there. You know why turkey vultures are, um, their heads are, clean and shaven, they don't have feathers on their head. Do you know why? Ooh, so they can eat their prey and not walk around with a bunch of bacteria on their um, ugh, on their feathers because they eat um, dead parts. So um, I actually heard they actually go through um, like the mouth or eyes and stuff. Whoa, so crazy. Okay, so um, here is our first line. We just took it from under the chin and then we swooped down to make a little bit of a belly line and a little bit of a curve there. Then from here, we're gonna go from the top of his head. And again, we're gonna swerve in and then we're gonna swerve out and then we're gonna make a straight line back. Very good. All right, and then as long as the body is, you see that? And then we're gonna draw um, a imaginary line right there. You see that, make that little mark there. And then we're gonna go straight up. It almost looks like a state, <laughs> like the state of Maine, I don't know. Um, and we're gonna draw the individual feathers here. So those are like little fingers. You just draw um, one and then attach it to the next one and make that one a little bit longer. Just go nice and slow. This one turns down a little bit. Um, and then this one kind of goes out. And so we're just doing a little zigzags. They're getting smaller until they get to down here where they get super small. All right, friends. And then this here is where I told you the wings get white. So um, I think that they could have streamlined this drawing a little bit more. That's a little weird to me, but we'll do that. We'll just kind of make a wavy line. And now it's time for his other wing. So what we're gonna do is from the top of his head, we're gonna um, go out and turn down. So. Um, what you can do is measure with, I think I've showed you guys this before. Let's say you have a pencil and you're not sure how long that wing should be compared to that wing. You see what I'm talking about? So this wing from belly to, um, to end of the wings is about that long, but you see it's not proportionate on this side. It's much, much longer. So what we can do is we can figure out this proportion is about the length, a little bit shorter than my pencil. And here it's one, two, about two lengths. So this should be about half the size. So from here to here. And um, so if it was even, it would look like that, but it's, it's turning backwards and it's going away from us. So it should be about half of that in length. And if I was doing a real technical drawing, I could pull out a ruler and really figure it out, but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> right now with us. So we're just gonna make this a little bit rounder. So you understand, uh, for me, it's about the length of a finger, right? So then this one should be about two fingers. You see what I'm talking about? I hope you understand that. All right, and then um, here, we're gonna start so it looks like that line kind of comes underneath for the white feathers, comes down and then back up. And then here it does the 
feather lines, right? So we're trying to get those feather lines and it's gonna connect way down on the belly. Okay, is that right? It looks a little weird. Maybe this should be a little bit further down and that's what's cool about drawing is you can make your changes however you wish. We're missing his body. Now, again, we could try to measure his um, bodies a little bit uh, like this pen. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to measure that. It's about there. And this is almost, it's almost as long as this wing here is his body. So I'm going to measure his wing to kind of keep it in proportion. You see what I mean? And then I'm going to go from the body and I'm going to say, okay, this is about where it should end. And so back here, we're drawing, you know, how birds feathers kind of stick together when they, their tail feathers, when they fly. All right. And he's got his little feet tucked up. So you can add his little feet tucked up in there. And what else we got? Oh, I guess that's, that's how they're showing Mr. Condor. Um, now, what I want to show you guys next is what's more important to me is Leonardo uh, da Vinci was more obsessed with, um, with his, uh, with all the feathers and all the folds and everything. So I'm going to really pay attention as I'd like you guys to, to these feather uh, shapes. And we're just going to draw in all these lines similar to, so these all should be feathers. Some will tuck behind them, some will be random. Remember, like when I tell you uh, snow, when you're making things falling from the sky or flowers on the field, they're not one, 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 one. They're random. That what, that's what makes them nice. So what makes this look cool are all the different shapes turning, twisting, some are poking out, some are getting smaller. So these technically should get thinner and smaller as they go in because um, they're getting further away from us and they also get smaller. So um, here, I think we're gonna have to draw a little bit of a body on the bird there. Did you do that? Is that difficult for you? So here, again, we're gonna um, be drawing wings those feathers are going to be coming out of Mr. Condor's um, wing. I kind of messed up on that. I'm going to start again. Sorry, dear friends. <clears throat> so here um, he's got these long. So these long feathers are getting lost with our um, with the angle, right? So we're not seeing that. They're way over there they're turning backwards away from us. So then here we've got these little wings. And I like drawing things like that, like wings, because um, it's just, it's, it's a pattern and it's kind of fun that way. So his little head, some of them have little hair that comes right there. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make these um, pointy, uh, kind of like these upside down these that will attach to each other and then these will come in and tuck underneath them. So they're just going to draw carefully back and forth. We're just drawing these crazy little line patterns. Now you can go around random or you can just stay in one line. And remember that some can be pointy, some can be turning like they shouldn't all be exact, they should be. And these would be the white part of the vulture when they spread their wings out. So I bet and when I drive to TPS, I always see them around. So you guys look out your windows and I bet you're gonna see when you're driving now, you're gonna see them everywhere. You're like, oh, there's a vulture. It's kind of fun to see over hawks, which are also beautiful. But if you guys like birds of prey, we just went to um, in La Jolla. There's a um, they actually have a falconry in um, where they do uh, what's that called? 
they do, sorry, I was off the page, sorry, friends. Um, oh, uh, paragliding, paragliding, where you jump off the, the edge of the cliff. Yes, yeah, so we went there, my son wanted to um, learn how to handle a falcon. And so he did, and he had a really good time. So if anybody is interested, it was kind of a beautiful way to spend the day. So I'm also gonna give him light feathers here too. This is probably all gonna be black, but it'd be nice to have all his little feathers here. And those would be just long feathers tucked in. Okay, not my best drawing, not my worst. Um, but so now it's time to kind of shade a little bit, add some color, add some definition. So what we wanna do is, Let's look at our picture again. I really want to um, spend some time looking at these feathers that you can um, add some folded lines to. They definitely be darker underneath, right? And you also can just shade under the feather itself and it would give it more dimension. So if you have, um, I think I have it in the notes and I'll make a little note to myself. If you have brown paper, it emulates um, his drawings better. If we have those, um, the brown paper and then you can color it with black and, um, and add white pencil, it looks really kind of cool. So again, this would be, you know, you can pick how the sun shines. So like, let's say I envision the sun being over here. So this adds the highlights on the top and it would be darker underneath, right? So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna shade down here. Have you done cross hatching? So you can go back and forth on it. You don't have to um, just, color and you also can use your finger to smudge it. Look at that. What a difference. Have you done that before? I don't know, friends. I'm getting worried because we're moving. Some of you might move into Mr. Packard's class and with COVID, I'm hoping you have the skills to, um, to survive that. Okay, so know that you can always use uh, your finger to kind of blend. You also, there are things called blenders. Um, I don't use them, but uh, some people do use them. So this would be um, more uh, probably a little bit lighter, not darker, even though it's turning out darker. Uh, so I'm gonna go get some of the black brown and um, add some color here. So another cool thing with birds is um, how they hang with the joints of um, the bones. So don't forget, like these can make these um, angular patterns over here and it helps the whole, the whole look. All right, I'm gonna pull out my, um, my pencils. Maybe you want to, um, I'm not sure how far along, oh, we're only at 20 minutes with this video, but um, I'm not sure how many videos you guys watched about Leonardo going up to this or shared information. So um, there's a lot of information about the uh, incredible man. And so if you want to make this picture more great, you can. If you'd rather just um, move on, you've done the technical part of the drawing. Um, you know, I want you to maybe do a little bit more with the shading and add some colors, but uh, this is, Oh, um, I just want you guys to get used to shading and knowing where your light source is coming from. And so I'm gonna use black here for the wings and I'm gonna go over it with some brown.
Oh, I was going to try to play some lyre music too. Yes, it's not my best drawing. Sorry, friends. I try. Let's see, lyre. I hope I'm saying that word right. I've been saying it all week. Ooh, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Looking for you, lyre. All right. Let's see. Liar. I saw you can, um, there's actually this other thing you can do where you have, they have a mail order, build your own music instruments. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, uh, I think this is the one I've listened to. So these are called turkey vultures because of the way, um, hold on one sec. We can listen to our lyre music. Where is it? Why is it not working here? Uh, let's see. So here's some lyre music. Okay, I hope you don't hear my DMV call. That's a two hour, oh, social security rather. It's for my father. I get to wait two hours to talk to somebody. Am I crazy? Oh, I guess that's what that is. I'm still on video right here. Um, okay, hold on one second. Okay, so I'll see you there. Sorry, friends. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, I'm going to put the uh, skin color, the uh, peachy skin color on the bird, along with some red. So I was telling you why they're called turkey vultures is because their heads are like turkeys where they're red and naked on top because they are vultures and they go after them and they're nasty creatures. So I think they're like a dark black brown um, or they're maybe just black. But I'm gonna add some brown on here um, to try to make it look a little more realistic. Why is that jumping around? That was weird. That was really weird. All right, why is that doing that? No, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not touching anything. Oh, maybe it was my phone touching it. Okay, sorry, that might have given you a headache. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to get this going. Oh, this these are supposed to stay white. So with white, what kind of color could we use? That's right, we could highlight with the white with a light blue maybe. So, but the, it's so cool, or a yellow, maybe the yellow color. I'm gonna go with the yellow cream color and go around the base of his wings. They're gonna get brighter, right? At the top, the closer they get to the sun. So I'm gonna go and uh, Sometimes these pencils can kind of blend each other. It's kind of cool that way. So I'm blending these colors together and then maybe you want to um, add his, oh, and what happened to my lyre music? We missed it when my husband told me they were going to music lessons, huh? All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see his little face. I got it a little too dark, but that's okay. So here's the white. I'm just going over my pencil lines with the white and it kind of smears it, which apparently isn't a word everybody uses, but um, I like the word. Very smeary looking. All right, so um, you can always go back 
and define things, add, add a uh, shading. Um, that's Mr. Liar, L-Y-R-E. I hope Miss Mattis isn't like, Mattingly isn't like, Patty's Lair. <laughs> I may be saying it wrong. So see a little bit of a wild feather over there. It kind of makes it look cool. And um, now it's up to you if you want to make this into uh, more of a drawing. Um, like you could make the sun and you could make the uh, sky and you could put some rolling hills. And um, or you can spend the time kind of looking at other um, and remember, he might have a little shadow down here. That's always kind of fun. I like to draw shadows in um, blue or purple. Oh, maybe he has a little shadow right here. <laughs> and um, remember, everything gets lighter and bluer in the background. So it's OK to put some blue in your back hill because it will actually visually push it back for you. And let's see. So that's um that's my vulture drawing in honor of Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. He was such an advanced, complicated man. There isn't a whole lot of easy projects we can do on him. Um, that's the hard part. So I thought this would be a creative way of doing that for you. Okay. So um. Oh, I guess we could add a little bit of the blue, blue skies. He's flying over the Temecula Hills. Maybe we should make them brown, not green. Or are they green right now? Maybe they're green right now. <laughs> I don't know. You see how I use the side of my pencil too? And then I'm always careful when I go up to the items I'm drawing around, go nice and slow. But then the rest of it, it's okay to kind of go a little messy because no one's, no one cares, right? Okay, so, um, so if you're all done and you have extra time, um, I have much more about Leonardo da Vinci. I also have other um, lessons on other pages. You're welcome to look if you want to learn more about him or just look at his drawings and his um, his drawings and uh, and what else do I have in there? Um, just fun facts, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson of Mr. Not Leonardo DiCaprio, but Leonardo da Vinci. And um, that's it for now. So you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.